What's up fam? This is a video that's going to show you how to use the machine software with the iPad. Today we're going to use the iPad as an effects rack within the machine. Right now I have the MK2. Uh, unfortunately I can't afford the MK3 at the moment. The funds are a little tight, but uh, hopefully this helps you out. For today's video we're going to use the iRig guitar interface as our interface. And we're going to use AUM. And we're going to, for the AUM, we're going to select the headset microphone. Pretty much this iRig is going to act as the interface on the iPad. You can also use uh, a regular interface to uh, have a stereo output. This is going to create a mono output input situation. But if you have access to a second um, interface that has uh, left and right channels, you can plug it into the USB side of the iPad and use uh, stereo outputs and inputs. But for today's situation, uh, this is all I have. So we're going to use the iRig. For this situation, we're going to use a three and a half, three and a half millimeter um, jack that's going to go out of the uh, headphone jack on the iRig, and then when it, the quarter inches are going to go into the uh, back of the uh, audio interface that I have, and I'll show you that in a second. The interface we're gonna use today is the Complete 6. Um, this has six ins and outs, pretty much. So what we're gonna do is connect, sorry, let me turn that around. What we're gonna do is connect the cables uh, from, our, from our iPad into the N3 and 4 on the audio on the auto audio audio six you don't want to go into the main output of the interface you want to go into the ends of the of your interface so let's do that now so now the jack the the uh, cable that's going out of the jack of the iRig is going into the end of your audio interface uh, three and four in this situation. Um, again, you don't want to go into the main end. Once again, since uh, we're using the iRig as our as our audio interface in this situation, we're gonna need uh, two quarter inch um, cables on one end, and then another quarter inch going out of the iRig. So, pretty much, this is gonna take the signal from the interface and bring it into the iRig where that guitar symbol is. That guitar symbol pretty much means the end of that, of the uh, interface on the iRig. Once again, on the interface that we're using today, we're gonna go out of three and four, not the main out. If you go out of the main out, you won't be able to hear the uh, your speakers, if you're using speakers, you can also use your um, headphone jack to monitor the sound if you wanted to. But we're going to use three and four on the complete six to go out into the iPad using the iRig guitar interface. So let's hook that up right now. Now we have our iPad connected into our interface. Uh, next, we're going to plug in our speakers um i'm not gonna be able to show you that because our my speakers are facing a different direction pretty much i'm just gonna put my speakers into the left and right and uh go on from there so now for our machine setup we already have a, a kit loaded in already now we're gonna go to our output and select destination external two external two designates output three and four on our audio interface. Next, we're gonna go to a second group and go to sound and go to input. And we're gonna choose source input two left and right, which designates input three and four on our audio interface that we have connected to our computer. So to recap, the output of the group that you want to affect is going to go to output three and four into the iPad, out of the iPad, back into the machine software 
on group B on the sound pad that you've designated to receive the sound into three and four on our audio interface. So now if we play the beat, we see the signals being received on the iPad. And if you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks again for visiting my page. I hope this was able to help anyone that had questions on how to use the iPad as an effects plugin within the machine. Pretty much there's a lot of things you can do with uh, the iPad and the computer as well. So I'll be sharing more as I continue to gain subscribers. Thank you.